Welcome back to you forever, back again on another video. I'm back with another Big Brother video. Guys, I cannot believe that the last Big Brother video I did was me reviewing Big Brother All-Stars. If y'all have not checked that out, please check it out. It's Big Brother All-Star Season 7, that is. I am still haven't finished that season. I'm still on it. So, look out for more of those videos, I guess. I kind of pressed pause for a while on watching the season. And now I'm back reviewing Big Brother All-Stars Season 22. Now, I gotta admit, I was one of the people that didn't think this season was gonna happen this year, or think a season was gonna happen this year. I really didn't want it to be an All-Stars this year because I wanted it, I, well, before the pandemic, I wanted it to be on this show, so obviously if it's an All-Stars, I can't be on it because I haven't been on a previous season. But, since there is an epidemic going on, or a pandemic going on and all this stuff, then, you know, All-Stars it is. And I am very excited to watch this season play out. So let's just, I'm a, this is like my cast review and season one review put together. So before getting into this season, when it was announced that it was All-Stars, I was very excited. Evil Dick, I actually really am a fan of his, and I see some of his stuff he put on Twitter. I'm not always on, I'm not always on Twitter, but I do see some stuff. I'm on there sometimes. And I see when he, like, spoil people, they're confirmed. This person confirmed, this person confirmed, like, all this stuff. I remember him saying, like... <laughs> I remember one of his tweets was like, uh, I talk to Enzo almost every day, and he always replies very, very fast. He, he, I text him the other day, and he hasn't replied. Confirmed. All stars. Like, he's funny to me. And then I, I think he confirmed his daughter was going to be in Like, he was just confirming people left and right. But I was very optimistic. The only thing, I tried to avoid spoilers because I was busy yesterday, so I couldn't watch it live. But I really, really tried to avoid spoilers. And I unfortunately was spoiled on three things, or at least I thought three things. So, I went on Twitter when I got home that night, and I didn't mean to see it. But it has said, who do you think Cody will nominate? And I'm like, oh, God! And I think Jessica was the one who tweeted it. So I like hurried up and got off Twitter. I'm like, shit. Like, so Cody's on it, and he won HOH. And I'm thinking that it's Cody as in Jessica's um, husband. Jessica's husband. Jessica from season 19. So I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Cody's on it, and he won HOH. So I'm spoiled. Then, uh, the morning, this morning, I woke up, because the episode didn't go on the CBS app until, like, I don't even know when it went on, but I, I stayed up till 1 a.m., and it still wasn't on, so I went to sleep. Woke up this morning, go on Twitter. On mistake, I forgot that this happened. And I see Josh say, so glad Christmas gets a second chance. I'm like, oh shit, not again. So I'm like, oh man, nah, I know Christmas is on. I know Christmas is on, and I know Cody won HOH, and he's on. So then, like, um, I get off of Twitter. I go on with my morning. You know, I got to shower, you know, brush my teeth, all that stuff. And I go back on Twitter. Again, on mistake. I'm not meaning to do this. It's just like part of my life. I check social media. And I see Nicole. From season from last season, season twenty one, doing a video like, but I'm assuming she and it, it has all stars inside the tweet, so I'm thinking that she's saying, "Oh, I'm so excited for this." So I'm like, "All right, confirm she's not on." So those are my three spoilers. So I start watching the season and I'm so excited. I don't see anybody like when I'm pressing it on the CBS app. I got my I got my hand over the side, so I don't see the thumbnail or anything. I play it. Uh, the set looked amazing. I loved everything. And then the first person that we saw was Nicole from season uh, 18. And I was excited to see her play again. I like Nicole. I'm not, like, I don't, it's nothing that I dislike about Nicole. So I'm fine with her. And she's from Michigan, from a small town. And, you know, I'm from a small town in Michigan. So room for her, kind of, sort of. She's a winner. You know, I don't know. Then the next person they show is another girl. And I'm like, who's that? I, I did not know, I didn't recognize her. And it's Danny Donato, and I have not seen Danielle season 8. I haven't seen season 7. Well, I'm still on season 7. I haven't seen 7, 8, 9. And that's it. I, I haven't seen 7, 8, 9. So, but I have seen her on 13. And I was a fan of hers. I like her. I really like Danielle. I wish she got along with her dad, though, because I like her dad, to be honest. Um, she's, it's so funny, because she, I think she mentioned, like, she was the youngest on her season, and now she's, like, one of the oldest. It's crazy. Then Davon. And I'm like, all right, Davon's on. That's fine. But Danielle and Nicole both are all stars, I would say, because Dan Danny came runner up and Nicole won. Uh, so then, and I think Nicole won a fan favorite, I think. Did she? I don't know. I don't remember. But then Davon, and I'm like, oh, like CBS, like Big Brother loved Davon. They always bring her back. Uh, I don't really see her as an all star, if I'm honest. Like, that's just me being honest. I don't see her as an all star. But they love her, they always bring her back. For 
for a lot of stuff. They always mention her and stuff like that. And I think fans like her a lot. Um, me, like, I don't really, one way or another, Devon, like, I, I'm not, I don't, I wasn't really excited. Um, but good for Devon, though, because she never stops working. I think she was on, so she was on season 17, Big Brother. So that's one year. Then the next year, she was on 18 of Big Brother. So that's another year. Then the third year of her life, she was on the challenge. Then the fourth year, she was on the challenge again. And then the fifth year, which is this year, she wasn't on the challenge. So I'm like, oh, she's not on reality TV. But then Big Brother All Star, and she's on that. So big ups to Dave Vaughn. Like she really, she is, and she, <laughs> she's been on TV for five years in a row. Like she, if she can do it next year, like that's six years. That's more, almost half decade. Or that is half a decade. It's almost over half a decade that she's been on television. So big ups to her. Then the next person. Um, I told you I was spoiled by this one, Christmas, and when, when she turned around, it was Christmas, I'm not gonna lie, I got a smile on my face, and I know a lot of people don't like season 19, including me, I hate that season, but I know a lot of people don't like Christmas, but it's just something about Christmas that I just always liked, I hate that how her season ended, or not how it ended, well, yeah, actually, I hate how her season had to play out, should I say, but her getting injured, because I would have loved to see, even though... I think the season kind of would have been the same because she still would have been like a follower of Paul and one of them blind. That season was horrible. But I just hate that she got injured. Um, I hate that Paul was even on that season. I feel like she would have been a really good competitor to watch. And I really, I'm excited to see her play and actually get a fair chance at this. And when she played that first, the first challenge that they did, which I'm about to get into, like you can tell she was in it. Like, and she's changed. I heard she had a baby and everything. She changed her life. Like, I, I like Christmas. I'm a fan of Christmas. Out of these four, Christmas, when I saw her, I got a smile on my face. Like, I was like, and then I did the ching ching. Because remember, whenever she used to cover out of the school, she used to be like, ching ching. I really was excited to see Christmas. I'm really excited to see her play. So they explained the HOH or how the first challenge was working. They would go inside, they would look in the backyard for a question, then they had to go in the house, find the answer. So they all go in and uh, Christmas finished it, right? Yeah, Christmas finished the, the maze thing first. And she was the only one. They only had four minutes. And, uh, oh, also, Julie mentioned that it had been nine years since Danny played. So, uh, uh, is she the longest? No, I think Kaser. Kaser was the longest uh, out of the house. But, yeah. But Christmas was the only one that got it. I was really surprised that uh, Nicole didn't get it because I thought they, that, but she was like doing, <laughs> Nicole was doing some really good commentary during, the, you would think that Devon would be the one with the commentary, but Nicole has some good commentary during this, uh, this challenge. But then the next four, and I did notice that the first four was all women, so then the next four were all men. So, first it was Tyler, and I'm not gonna lie, for some reason I like Tyler as a person, I really like Tyler. But I think I just disliked Tyler on the Big Brother side because he was such a good player and he wasn't on my side. He was aligned with the people I didn't like. And I, and it's weird because I do I do like all of those people though. Like in real, like outside of the Big Brother. That's just, I don't know, their, their team was just so strong and the other side was so dumb. But I think that's why I just kind of don't like Tyler as a Big Brother player. I love him as a person. I really like Tyler. But I kind of rolled my eyes when I saw Tyler. I'm not going to lie. Um, he talked about Angela, and I just love his life. Man. Next person we saw was Ian. And I was like, oh my god, I'm surprised he's on here. Because I remember seeing like, YouTube videos or tweets. or Like, he doesn't even watch Big Brother no more, I heard. And he, like, he was a super fan on his season. But he doesn't even watch no more. And then, like, we saw, like, what he's up to now. He's got a girlfriend. And he's got his, like, uh, a better job than even he already had. I think he was a teacher. I don't remember. But I was really surprised that he's on this season. I'm excited to watch him. And he, he even mentioned, like, yeah, I was a boy then, but I'm a man now and all this stuff. I would not be opposed to seeing him win this season again. I'm a fan of Ian. So I got Christmas and Ian so far. Next person we saw was Kevin from season 11. I was really surprised to see him. I don't really consider him an all-star at all. I don't really. I've seen season 11, and I don't really remember. He, apparently, he came in third. I don't even remember that. So. Uh, apparently he's married, um, he's he's gay, so he's married to a husband, and he wants to win this money so that he can adopt a kid. Uh, the next person we saw was Enzo from season 12, and I was like, oh, well, Dick was right, evil Dick was right. Um, Enzo, 
so he said he was in the best shape of his life and first season he didn't win any challenges he's changed a lot and I'm excited to see him play because I did like Enzo and he mentioned that he was he created probably the best alliance in Big Brother history which 75% of that alliance made it to the final three so they made it to the finale night so I guess that is the best alliance in Big Brother history unless it was a two person alliance so when it comes well yeah so I mean Enzo I'm excited to see him play I'm getting all tongue twisted so Julie had mentioned that they had one winner, two, one runner up, and two third place. So this was a very strong group, even though I don't really remember Kevin. Uh, and then, oh, and Enzo said that his biggest flaw was that he went to the end with two people who were way stronger than him. So I think Enzo has a really good shot at winning this. I really, really do. Uh, and then like the game, it seemed like the girls had it way harder in the first round. This one was very easier, and Ian came in first, and then Kevin came in second. So they move on to go to the HOA. So, so far, it's going to be Christmas, Ian, and Kevin. The next group. Oh, God. So I saw Janelle, and I got the biggest smile on my face, and I was like, is that Janelle? I was happy as hell, and I haven't even seen Janelle in season seven, which I guess is her best season. I'm watching season seven now, and actually the episode I'm on, she's the HOH. But I'm watching, and she's having a stupid HOH right now. Oh, God. Oh, man, I just thought it's a She spoiled me that she got rid of Dr. Will. Is this the one where she got rid of Dr. Will? Oh, man. No, because the episode I'm on, on All Star, I'm just thinking about it. But she spoiled me that she got rid of Dr. Will because she said she was going through her, her resume. And she said, yeah, I got rid of Dr. Will. But I don't know. I'm just really big fan of Janelle. I really like Janelle, and I really want her to win. If she don't win, I want her to make it to the finale night because she is boss. She's probably the best player out of everybody on this whole season, when you really think about it. Or the best competition player. Yeah, best competition player. But I, I don't know. I just really like Janelle. Next, we saw Bailey, and I went from super happy, like, oh, yes, Janelle, and then the show made it. I was like... <laughs> I really, I'm not a fan of Bailey at all. Now when I saw Bailey and Swaggy was inside the little um, video package, I'm like, please, please, don't let it be. Don't put them both on here again, please. So anyway, um, I don't really have anything to say about Bailey for real. And then the third person was Nicole from season 21. I was surprised to see her because I thought that I was spoiled that she wasn't going to be on. Remember? Because I said I saw the video. But I guess it was like a fake video. I think because in the video, she's like excited for All Stars tonight. I didn't see the video, but I saw that there was a video and I, I saw the tweet caption. So I was surprised to see her. And to be honest, like, I wasn't really all that excited to see Nicole. Like, But then once I saw Nicole, I knew that there was one girl left. Only one girl left. And I was really, really hoping, had my fingers crossed for Christy from season 21 because if you know me and if you watch my review of that season you know that I was a big fan of Christy but then I was also thinking like maybe Nicole's dynamic duo uh, I forgot her name but the black girl that was on the season who got eliminated really really quick and Jack was really really mean to I was thinking maybe it'll be her then I was also thinking like oh Bill, I really like Rockstar I want Rockstar to be on here so I was like really anticipating who the third who the fourth and final woman on the cast was gonna be and then it was Keisha from season 10 who I did not recognize I had no clue who it was then she was going through her resume and she was saying what she's known for and she's known for her birthday and I do remember that uh, yeah uh, and I wasn't really that like Keisha I'm like oh whatever I mean I didn't really same with Devon like I don't dislike her at all but it's just I, one way or another I wouldn't really you know wasn't really now we see uh, Janelle Janelle and Bay close call. Oh, so then they went to the competition, and the girls one was hard again. I'm like, why are the girls' competition so hard? But uh, Janelle and Bailey had really, really close calls, like where you thought they were about to get it, and then they dropped it. I'm like, damn. And then like Nicole got it. She was the first one to get it, and she buzzed in. The other three didn't get it, so it was just Nicole that moved on. So now we got Christmas, Ian, Kevin, and Nicole. Then we get to the final group of guys, and I'm like, who do I want? Who do I want? Evil Dick. I just, I was like, put Evil Dick in here again. That would be, I, I would like to see him in there. And I knew one of them was going to be Cody. And I'm expecting it to be Jessica's husband, Cody, from season 19. First person we see is, what up, K-Sir? And I'm, I'm watching season 7 right now. And I'm a fan of K-Sir. I like K-Sir. And he's, 
he's got to be one of the best Big Brother players to not even make it to jury because I didn't know he didn't make it to jury in season seven, but he spoiled it. <laughs> and he's a big fan favorite, and I just I, I love Kevin. He came. Listen, Kevin. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Kaser came in with a dad bod because he was walking and <laughs> the way he was walking, he looked all like he was like. 40 years old or 30 years old, walking around his little kitchen or living room, his stomach was out. You had to dab about it. It was hilarious. But I love Kaser. I mean, Kaser's really, really cool. And I'm so excited that him and Janelle are on the same season, but I'm kind of nervous too because that's a dynamic duo. Are they the only dynamic duo in the whole house? Oh, they might have a big target. Ooh, Kaser and Janelle. I think Kaser and Janelle. Sorry. I think Kaser and Janelle are gonna be the only dynamic duo inside the whole house, so that might not be they might not be looking good for them. Uh then we saw Cody. And I didn't recognize him at first, but it was Cody from season 18 or 16, who was the runner-up with Derek. Who he, like I I completely didn't even he when I saw Cody I didn't cross my mind so I'm like oh so that's the Cody so like I guess I wasn't spoiled but I knew Cody was gonna be one of these next few people so I kind of was spoiled but not really so and I knew he was gonna be the HOH deal so but uh, I'm glad he owned up to he made a big mistake by taking the um, his partner instead of taking someone who he could have beat easily so he said he's not gonna make the same mistake. So I'm excited to watch Cody play. And I'm glad they chose Cody instead of Holly. Uh, so the next person was Memphis, season um, 10, who I didn't recognize at all again. <laughs> but I do remember liking him. I don't remember disliking him. And I like what he said. And he's definitely dad too, dad coming in here. He came, uh, he has said, uh, he has said, I got to redeem myself because I played the whole season and didn't get a whole a single vote. And like when you think about it, like, yeah, <laughs> you were aligned with probably the best Big Brother. It's so funny because Cody and Memphis said that they were aligned with the best Big Brother player in their eyes. So the Renegade and the Hitman, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Next person was David from season 21. They saved him for last and he was the first one eliminated. So David really got to prove himself. But he don't really know much about Big Brother, but... I mean, I'm glad that they brought him back because he was really robbed on his season. And people did like him. And he did, like, he he knew what was going on when he came back for the little camp comeback or whatever. Kemi. Kemi was the girl's name who I couldn't think of earlier. But, yeah. So, David, I'm excited to see him play. I hope he don't get eliminated first. But I don't think they will do that. I really don't think they'll do that. Knowing what happened last time with David, that he was really played. Uh, so, um, yeah, I had the wrong Cody. I was hoping for Evil Dick. He wasn't on, but I mean, uh, come on, now, I knew Evil Dick wasn't going to be on there with all the stuff he say. So, the HOH competition, it was easier again. So, Memphis got it first, and then the second one, I already knew Cody was going to get it, and he did. We go to the HOH, well, everyone meets. Everyone says hi to each other and stuff. And I'm just like, uh, and then, uh, a reason, I, I want it. Fessy is one of my favorites of all time, but I didn't want him to be on this season once I saw Bailey was on. Because I'm like, if Fessy's on, he's going to protect Bailey, and I just want Bailey out. I don't want her to make it to Jerry. I don't want to deal with Bailey. I just, less screen time as possible, please. I want to like Bailey, but just, no. So everyone meets, everyone says hi and stuff. I think Devon's favorite of all time is Keisha. Because, like, she was just so, like, Devon. If I, Devon has a big mouth, but she also make it so known who she likes. Like, shut up, calm down. Like, she was like, ah, all over Keisha. Like, that's her favorite. Is that her favorite of all? Is that your idol? Damn, calm down, Ke uh, Devon. If I was Keisha, I would have been pissed. Like, I can't even work with you because you, how you in me greeted me. Um, so the HRH competition, I really liked this. I thought it was fun. So Memphis got like his time. So the HRH competition, they have to walk on the little like leapfrogs or whatever and hit a button. Memphis went first. And I thought he had a pretty good time, right? But then it was over a minute. Then it was Cody's time. And I think this was such cheating because the thing was still shaking. And when it was Cody's time, all he had to do was look at it and see, oh, well, that's shaking. That's not, let's not step on it. Go to this one. And he literally, I think he fell once, went back, and then just did it. And he got it in 22 seconds. 
Then it was Christmas turn. And you could literally see them still shaking. Christmas almost got it, but she didn't. 22 seconds is hard to beat. Then it was Kevin's turn. He didn't do it. I think, like, Kevin... Oh, no, yeah, Kevin almost got it, but he failed on one of them. That he, he, like, most of them, you could see them shaking. Then it was Nicole's turn. And I think they went to commercial. No, they went to commercial before Kevin's turn. So Kevin didn't see him shaking, but he went, he almost got it. Then was Nicole's turn, and she just did awful. Like, Nicole's definitely gonna make it to, like, the final four. I don't think nobody, because considering how season 21 was, if anybody watched it, I feel like they're gonna be nervous to eliminate Nicole, because they know, like, how she was treated in her season. They think Nicole's got a lot of fans. I can't vote her out. I think that Nicole's gonna be really, really, like, high. Like, she's gonna get, like, top five, top four. Probably finish third like she did before. I don't know. Uh, then it was Ian's turn, and he, Ian almost beasted this competition, he almost did too good, but then, like, he fell, and he took way too long to get back to the front, and then he lost it, so Cody was the HOH, um, then they had these cards, and who, like, I don't like how they did it, because four out of five were have-nots, the other one got money, they should've did, like, maybe three out of five, I don't know, but Christmas got 5k, Nicole, Ian, Memphis, and Kevin were have-nots, and then they wanted to show us the have not room, but production messed up. They couldn't even get in. That was the first episode. I liked it. I feel like the introduction was the majority of the episode. And it was live, so, you know, it was a lot of mistakes, including the have not room. Um, based on the cast, I mean, I didn't think about this until the end, because they had said something. They was like, oh, look, haters get a life, or not haters, what is it? Uh, Floaters get a life vest. I was like, oh, Rachel. Rachel's not on, who I hated on both her seasons. I really didn't like. And I don't see why she has so many fans, but I like her, like, as a as a fan of Big Brother, like, that she loves Big Brother. I'm surprised she's not on this season. I feel like she had to say no. Because Big Brother, why wouldn't they ask Rachel? Rachel's one of the best winners of all time. Oh, my God. Seeing Rachel and Janelle. And did they play together ever? I don't think they have. If they have, I don't remember. Season 14. Was, was Rachel on season 14? She was on 13 and 12, yeah. So yeah, I would have loved to see Rachel and Janelle, but based on the season, man, I feel like Janelle's not gonna win because she's get, she's with Kaser. That's a dynamic duo. And then you got Memphis and Cody, who are both, like Julie asked them which duo was better. I feel like those two should be a duo, Cody and Memphis, because they both were like the sidekicks of like the two greatest players of all time other than Dr. Will. I think Davon's gonna try to get all the black people together because she's all about black power and all this stuff. But the thing is, Davon, if you align with Bailey, I'm not gonna like you. Cody's HOH, my prediction for his nominees. Hmm. I feel like he might put Kaser and Janelle up. Cause inside his little one-on-one -on -one with Julie, he even said like, I'm surprised to see Kaser. Or he's gonna wanna work with them. I just, I have a bad feeling about Kaser and Janelle. I really have a bad feeling, because they're a strong duo. That's a strong duo. But Danny's in there, too. So you got Danny and Janelle. Danny and Janelle, those are two comp beasts. Two comp beasts. Yeah, but I'm excited for this. Only person I'm really, like, disappointed that's not on here is, like, Evil Dick and uh, kind of, like, Rockstar. Dan, you know. But, yeah, that's it, guys. That's it for this season. Or for this video. I'm excited to watch. Leave comments. Tell me what y'all thought of the first episode. Or what y'all thought of this. What are y'all thinking about the cast? Who are y'all disappointed is not on? Let me know inside the comment section down below. Until next time y'all. Leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. Catch y'all later.